Hello again! Welcome back to me, myself, and I playing The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Dailies, which yesterday was not me doing that at all. It was me doing what the fuck I wanted to because screw everything. As you may be able to tell, I can now speak again and I can hear again. So I suspect these two things together will, will, will come together to be a, a conducive situation for playing a daily run. Now we're on the basement to start with, which is really good because it means there's a lot lower of a likelihood that we really, really screw it up. And it's an easy mode run, well, a normal mode run, there isn't an easy mode, uh, to Isaac. That's, it seems to have been reasonably common, in dailies at least, that we go down to Sheol. So it's nice to see more of a, a presence of the cathedral. So yeah, yesterday was a bit of a wash, but never mind. Unfortunately, it does mean we have to do the hush fight, which means I have to find something to talk about during the hush fight. Oh, we got hit. That's okay. I was hoping that uh, Mongo Baby here, plus my own tears, would suffice to destroy Yon Silkworm before it came to us, but it was not the case. So hopefully today we'll do a little bit better. I had a look at Greed Butt. The reason I had a look at Greed Butt is that it's nice... Ooh, Cancer Trinket is a decent trinket. Uh, although in place of that... Oh, that's a shame. Let's take this. It's amnesia. That's okay. Um, uh, is cancer better than the paperclip? In real life, no. I had a look at greed, but I was telling you this, but then I got distracted by trinkets. Because it's nice to have an idea of how far the daily goes before you start doing the daily. The 100th played score was about 38,000. Which, to be honest, is approximately what you'd expect a 100th place, place score to be if it only goes as far as Isaac. But it does suggest that maybe there's a way... Ooh, infinite bombs, you say? Sure. There's nothing going to be there. What am I even doing? Here? And we'll do this as well. It does suggest there may be a way of getting out of that floor and into the dark room. So I'm going to be looking for a way of doing that, and to be honest, I think that the way of doing that will be you do the self-sacrifice room on the cathedral. So I'm hoping that there's one on the cathedral, but if there isn't, tough. Um, I took the cancer trinket. The cancer trinket is a strong tears upgrade. It doesn't quite make Eve's mascara worthwhile, I think. So we're going to do the Self-sacrifice room on the cathedral, or hope for the best if there isn't one, basically. I'm not going to do it beforehand, um, because I think that 38,000... Look, I want to be in the top 1,000, not the top 100, but I wanted a, an idea of what the top 100 people were doing. Uh, and I think it's just really good play. It may not be a, you know, a way of scumming up the game. The Cancer Trinket, since I've been saying I took it and not actually talked about it, is a tiers upgrade. I think it's a fairly strong one. I believe it's double tiers, but it may not be, because I know that the curved horn is double damage. But well, I believe that the curved horn is double damage, but again, may not be. Um, but if I'm right that the cancer shrink is at least a strong tiers upgrade, which means we've got much greater rate of fire, which naturally means we have a much higher DPS, and DPS is how we don't die. I've picked up Pandora's box, and I will try and keep it for as long as possible. There are opportunities for the Pandora's box. It's an opportunities type item. If you wait until the womb, I think we've talked about this before. If we wait until the womb, we can get two boss items. Range up is nice. But on various floors before that, there are opportunities such as four spirit hearts, I believe, on depths one. That sort of thing. Um, please let me through. And we've also picked up the Small Rock, which is a 1.5 damage multiplier. So Small Rock's a good damage upgrade, especially early on in the game. Uh, we're really knocking it out of the park right now. That's a, that's Tanky Monstro, already dead. We picked up another range upgrade. And no Devil Precedent today, which is saddening. But we did pick up some Spirit Hearts, and somehow I didn't get hit on that entire floor, actually. So, um, can we have a little bit of a fanfare? Du -du -du -du. Thank you, thank you. Come again. Uh, do I want... The thing that was 
It was Ease Mascara. I think Ease Mascara is something you never take early because it halves your rate of fire and doubles your damage, and we have seen it before on these daily runs. Uh, and the reason you don't take it early is because it's very important to know whether it's going to screw you or not. And early on you don't know that, so you can only really decide about Ease Mascara based on sort of a, a late game rate of fire when you can assume your rate of fire is not going to get any better. Which, with the Cancer Trinket, is doing really well. Our damage is outstanding right now. We are in Flooded Caves, of course, so expect those particular exploding enemies to hurt us a lot. Oh god, champion one of these. Help, help. Leave me alone. But, uh, help. <laughs> also leave me alone. Fudge! Well, I'm taking red heart damage. There's no two ways about that. That was a particularly awful curse room, because... Those, uh, those incubuses, they don't really give you much room to actually shoot the fucking things. Because they, they fire at you relentlessly. Uh, and then, you know, you have to try and get a shot in that's actually on target. And then move. Wow. It's pretty difficult. Two of spades. It's something I was also going to talk about. Two of spades doubles the number of uh, keys that you have. But if you don't have any keys, it gives you two keys. So if you only have two keys... There's no point in using it. Until you have more than two keys, two of spades is not valuable. But I'm keeping it over the devil card, because the devil card basically does the Book of Belial effect for one room. So it gives you a, a damage upgrade for one room, but we're doing so much damage, I honestly don't think it's going to be necessary. And we have got like infinite bombs right now as well, because we picked up that golden bomb. So I guess what are we hoping to do? What are we hoping to achieve by keeping the devil card? That if we need to augment our damage in any respect, we just use bombs. At least on this floor. And, you know, it's, it's this floor that's important. Other floors are in the future. Future me can deal with that. We've got a speed downgrade, which is kind of why you don't take pills on the daily run, but... Eh. Live a little. Live a lotto. That was uh, my Billy Connolly impression from the 1990s uh, lottery adverts in the United Kingdom, which is where everybody lives, who is worth talking about. No offence to everybody else, that was just my idea of a hilarious, hilarious joke. I'll use a high priestess here because everything can go fuck itself, and then I will take two of spades with me. So yes, the two of spades will only be valuable when we get to the point where we have more than two keys. At which point, we might as well wait until we've got a lot more than two keys, and then we get the points benefit from, and the swag bonus I expect, from picking up, you know, as many keys as we currently have. Alternatively, now that I think about it, maybe we should use it when we need keys and don't have any. There's a key. It's not now. In the shop, there is a spider mod, which is super fun. Apart from the fact that it does this uh, status bar thing, where you can see the health of all your adversaries, it also randomly causes status effects on enemies. I think if it walks into them. That was uh, pretty handy. Being able to find the secret rooms like this is super useful. Uh, yeah, if it hits enemies, it will... Judgment. I'll explode this. I've got infinite bombs. It may make up for the deal with the devil chance deficit that I get from taking that stupid damage earlier on in the, in the floor. But there's not a strong chance we get a deal with the devil on this floor anyway. Simply because... We had one on the last floor, and that's just how a devil works. The devil is in the details, and those are the details of the devil. I believe we had a 25% chance when we started, and now we have less because we hit, got hit, and now we have slightly more because we exploded the judgment and we didn't get one. So, all that waxing lyrical. Two of diamonds is worth taking now because I want to keep the two of spades for aforementioned reasons. One doubles to two, zero doubles to two, because maths, and, you know, two doubles to four, etc, etc. So we have zero, we might as well have had two. Hmm, I want to get into that room, but it would involve removing the majority of my HP to do so, because we need to have, uh, unless there's a secret room next to it, but I'm uh, very certain that there is not, just given the uh, shape of the room as it is. 
This is not really what I expect from a gluttony fight, but we did the. We got the points bonus. Points bonus is great, so. What do we do now? I guess we just keep going. The small rock so early on has probably going to be able to carry us for quite a while, but I would like to maybe get another. Um, another familiar. Because Mongo Baby will copy. I think the next familiar or the previous familiar in the queue. So if we can get something like. Uh, I think it will copy Rotten Baby. And Rotten Baby does fly, so we have twice as many flies which are themselves doing twice the damage of ourselves. Look at these numbers. These numbers are great. Um, meaning... Excuse me, why have you not taken damage? Thank you. That we'd have... If, if we can get Rotten Baby... No, if we can get Mongo Baby to mimic Rotten Baby, we'd have a good number of uh, flies doing a good amount of damage. Why did I not go to the item room? Never you mind. That's part of my math straps. Ah, well, we saw this yesterday. I am going to not take it. Because <laughs> yesterday, in the run that I did instead of the daily run, because I did that, I picked that up, and then I was super happy when it got rerolled. So, unless there's a reroll on this run, which I'm not going to count on at all, I feel like this is a secret room for some reason. Or this? Oh, okay, whatever. Shut up. Leave me alone. I don't, uh, I don't have to answer to you. And you're judging eyes. Uh, BFF, yes. Do we take this? Get out of jail free. Hmm. I'm not sure if it does anything for us now. On a normal run, that would get us into the Mega Satan fight, or out of boss rush, I guess, or something like that. But, um, we're not doing that. That was a very lucky rock. And I don't mean the actual Lucky Rock, which is an item. I'll drink it anyway. This is a secret room. It always is a secret room. Good, 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 good. Ah, uh, no. We're benefiting so greatly from the Race of Fire increase from the Cancer Trinket that replacing the Cancer Trinket at this stage will probably be quite foolhardy. But I'm not going to. Can't make me. Man, where the hell is this boss? We haven't taken Red Heart damage yet. Which is both great and a shame. I'm going to go a little bit faster and not backtrack to the, the the particular rooms that we missed for the exploration bonus. Because the boss rush bonus is worth a lot more. And I'm hoping that we actually get a strong upgrade ourselves. Oh god, this thing. No. Just so that we can really compete with boss rush today. Because, oops. Um, boss rush is one of those ones where if you haven't competed... You're in a super problem sort of situation. You're not going to be... No deal with the devil. If you don't do boss rush, you're not going to be in the sort of rankings. You're not going to be in maybe the top 500. So we want to get through this quickly and not waste time backtracking. It is genuinely wasting time at this point. And not waste time backtracking just to get one room's extra bonus. Or even the secret room, which I didn't do on the last floor because I didn't really see a place where it seemed obvious. I don't think I did anyway. Maybe I did. Who knows? Man, those things I hate quite considerably. These are the things that killed me yesterday. So uh, it's good to have revenge on them, although they weren't champions. It was a champion that killed me yesterday. Full heart of damage on a single hit. Boom. Game over, man. If you die. Good. Going reasonably quickly. Um, My new mad strats of not running around like a blue-ass fly just to avoid, you know, all the... the the shots on the screen seems to be working out for me to some extent. Let's uh, stave off the particularly large rooms until we really need to do anything about them. Maybe we put a bomb down here and see what we get. We now have four keys, so we... <laughs> brilliant. We get into the stage... Oh, thank you. We get into the stage where we could probably start thinking about using our card here. This room possibly wasn't worth doing, but... There's a small chance that this is the super secret room. It's not. Sometimes rooms at the end like that, which sometimes have... I'm saying sometimes a lot. Rooms that you have previously seen have... Ooh, nice-ish. Multiple exits that don't have a multiple exits this time may have a secret room where the other exit would have been. Now we have Mongo Baby pretending to be Ghost Baby. 
which I guess I'm okay with because it's just twice as much fire rate from said baby and the tears are spectral. Please. I have to get to this particular thing but it's so far away. I can't aggro it because I have to go around the houses to get to it. Son of a bitch. Oh, let's just keep pressing on. I'm not sure why I deserve to explode that so quickly but I'm glad that I did. You're dead. You're dead. We're doing a lot of damage considering. Six keys so... Uh, oh, you fucking dick. <laughs> Curse of the maze. I hate you. We're off. Nice one. Good job. <laughs> Tosser. Why do we get so many uh, red chests? Oh, there's this tinted rock in here. Spirit hearts, please. We've already found small rocks, so we're unlikely to find another one. By which I mean, there is no way that we could possibly find another one. We skipped a room, that's nice. Again, we're going for speed here. At this stage of the game. Triple shot again. <sighs> no. No. You screwed me too many times. Yes. <laughs> okay, this is great. I love Proptosis. Check this shit out. You can mass off, mass off tears like this. We've got uh, ghost babies that can do some damage to those things over there. Two ghost babies. Not just the one. Two. Uh, I used a key without doubling them. It's, it's a minor concern, really, but it's not the sort of thing you should be doing. Forgetting about things that you have is essentially the mistake here. Ooh, that thing shot at me a lot sooner than I anticipated it was shooting at me. That's fine. We've got the item room. Maybe we should find the shop. Let's do this at least this big room. With all the extra words that were required to make that sentence pass. Let's do at least do this big do room. Do. There's more. It was just this. Yeah, there's a shop. Uh, I don't want any of this, so we'll leave. Worth looking for the shop. Maybe. Mm, I feel like there is a secret room here. Now, I don't know why I feel this. Oh, come on! Fucking yes! Get in! Excuse me. I may have become slightly overexcited and gone back to my roots, which we don't talk about. Here? No. The Fallen! The Fallen will give us a devil item without costing us devil, devil money to do it. I kind of don't want to be here right now. We're okay. Proptosis is... I... Oh, no. <laughs> no! Just no. Proptosis is a decent um, damage upgrade, even if you don't hit with the largest set of tiers. And we can take a devil item. Which is interesting, because we didn't get... Oh, do we use it? Mom's knife prop... Fuck it. we got to practice with Mom's knife, so we can't just complain about it and ignore it every time we see it. Um, we now have devil precedent, so even though we didn't get... Devil items originally. Uh, we now can. Let's use this now so we've got plenty of keys to go in here. I mean, there was a, a big, strong chance, in fact, that we had Angel Room there. Oh, now we get Holy Fucking Light. Which does nothing. Got no words on it. Mm. Sometimes I regret taking Mom's Knife, and it's basically every time, but. Not taking it is... It's foolish because it's such a great item. But it's not a great item because I'm bad at it. So, taking it is pretty important. So that I can get good at it. So that it is as valuable as it actually is. If you see what I mean. Um, which is to say... In absolute terms it's valuable. Relative to me it's not. And it's only not valuable relative to me. Because I'm bad with it. So, that means I have to change not it. You know? Good. With me. We're going to this shop too. Sure, why not? We did use the two of spades, if you recall. Uh, hmm. Should take this. Kind of want to take this as well. Sure. I like it. The fool and the sun. Well, the sun's a good card. In fact, I will use it on... I was going to say I'll use it on this room to see where the boss is. But we know where the boss is. It's here. And I managed that room again. Twice in a row. Pretty strong. We've got um, basically two minutes because we can just walk into the foot when it comes down and kill it. It's probably not going to be a long fight, so we should at least try and get some more consumables, a little bit more of an exploration bonus out of this floor. There is a tinted rock here that you probably all were telling me off and not finding. Oh, that was shit. <laughs> Thanks for the uh, information, everybody. I'm glad that you clued me into that particular tinted rock, which contained a golden chest with a trinket in it that sucks. This feels like a secret room to me. Which is 
Oh, you fucking dick. Leave. <laughs> Get out of there. Blow this guy up. Ah. Looks like a, a doll. Probably not gendered. Thing. Blow this doll thing up. Well, this is a, a mild shame because now we can't go into the curse room without taking red heart damage and the red heart damage would mean we didn't get a deal with the devil. Oh, fuck. Well, we're taking it anyway, so let's go to the curse room. And then we will make a beeline to the boss. There is nothing but spiders. I hate you spiders. Not even a reward for beating the fucking spiders. There's our HP back. I would like a speed upgrade, actually. I, I recklessly took pills. Recklessly. Which is how you take them, I guess. Uh, and it came back to bite me. By giving me a speed downgrade. I'm just going to uh, shrug off the fact that I wordlessly found the second secret room without even talking about it. I really didn't mean to mistime that so badly, but mistime it so badly, I did. Uh, we'll take the Polaroid. I have not yet spoken to people who don't know how the Polaroid works, what it does. The Polaroid and the negative determine what happens when you get to... Wow, I just one-shot. <laughs> the, uh, one-shot Pete there. What happens when you get to the chest when you beat Isaac or, um, what the hell are you doing over there? Or Satan. So Isaac in the cathedral, Satan in Sheol. Where is that horse? Is the horse dead? I hope so. No, fuck. <laughs> Got it. Um... In order to get to the chest or the dark room, you have to have the correct Polaroid or negative for the one you're going to. The negative for the dark room, and the Polaroid for the chest. This is a, a champion boss rush, which is making me sad. These things should give me a spirit heart. Bing. What's over here? Just pin? Um, no. This is Fucking frail, forsaken. Frail, yes, frail. Uh, yes, essentially, you have to have the one that corresponds to where you're going, or you won't go there. You'll just end the game at the chest that drops at the end of the Isaac slash Satan fight. We are one-shotting everything with a plum, uh, or rather with a knife. I expect one-shotting something with a plum would it would be a very hard throw. Um, excuse me? When I said one-shotting everything, I meant you too! Yeah, dick. <clears throat> we got BFFs. Uh, I just realised. I went, ooh, BFFs, that's good. I took damage there. That's not, not my finest hour. What does BFFs do? It makes our familiars bigger and therefore stronger. I don't know whether it affects the effects that you get from spider mod. However, it does affect the damage of the other two things, I think. They don't seem to be shooting much bigger uh, shots. Which was not a, really a word I should have hesitated on. Shooting bigger shots. It sort of follows, really. And this is great. I'm glad I took Mom's knife. Um, the damage upgrade is outrageous. And although I am not the most skilled practitioner of Mom's knife artistry. Mom's knifery? Mom's butchery? Um, yeah, you can be dead. And you can be dead. I, I'm getting more accustomed to it because we have been taking it more often. Because I've been forcing myself to take it more often. I know at least one other YouTuber that would have not hesitated to find that and probably also had the same reaction when he found Holy Shot uh, in the very next fight. Excuse me. No. Which would be, oh, I can't believe I got Mom's Knife and then Holy Shot because Holy Shot does nothing. Without mom's knife, but without tears, I should say. Uh, and then gone, wait a minute, I fucking got fucking holy shot. Uh, mom's knife. So it doesn't matter too much. Multi dimensional buddy, do you do anything? No. Can I shoot these ones through that one? Yes. So we have a large multi dimensional buddy. We're out of here at 23 minutes, which is great. Multi dimensional buddy may have some effects. Um, without tears, we can't use it ourselves, but the other familiars 
apparently can use it. And I'm assuming that BFS has the same effect on all of these things, which is that basically their damage is increased. So the damage increase that you get from multidimensional baby will it be will itself be further increased? Uh, please fire. Thank you. By the fact that we got BFS. Like the, the shots that multidimensional baby turns the other shots into are already increased. We should do this. We've got Pageant Boy and Speedball. Speedball is the speed upgrade that I did ask for, which is pretty nice. So now we feel at least reasonably quick. <laughs> yep, quick. Well, we might as well take it, huh? When are we going to use Anarchist Cookbook? When we're feeling like our life is worth less than the lulls of having a shitload of troll bombs on the screen. Uh, having a shitload of troll bombs on the screen is... I have to, I have to be honest. I suspect everybody is aware of what happens when you have a shitload of troll bombs on the screen all at once. Uh, it usually doesn't end well. Which, uh, uh, <laughs> I use my spacebar item, which I've been holding on to all game, which the game actually allowed me to do by not giving me an alternative spacebar item except for the red candle in that shop that one time, but I didn't really want it because we were doing great damage anyway. And now I've had two spacebar items immediately after using the spacebar item aforementioned. Except I don't want either of them because they're both shit. And to be honest, the lulls from uh, maybe uh, Anakin's cookbook are going to be way greater than the lulls from Bob's rotten fucking head. More bombs is great, but I would like, if possible, to stop using all these keys. Ooh, magic must, yeah. This is why we explode mushrooms, which I tend to forget, but, you know. That's also a speed upgrade. Oh, and we got a question mark card, which doubles our active item. Not looking forward to that. Uh, no. We'll keep the Yarrow Rune and the Sun. The Sun will damage everything on the current rune. That was good. Did you see that? I like that. I'm fan of that. Um, well, that's a bit of a wash. Damages everything on the current rune. I, why did I pay to go in here? Somebody tell me why I spent the fucking HP on going in there. It heals us fully. In red hearts. And it reveals the map. So this could be very valuable on e.g. the cathedral. Like on the cathedral, we'll know instantly whether our, our gambit of waiting to do a self-sacrifice room until the cathedral is going to pay off. Don't quite know how I didn't get hit there, because I wasn't paying attention to the fact that that one angel fetus was doing triple shot. But, uh, I really need to stop using keys. Did we get Guppy's tail? I don't remember. I remember getting a Guppy item. Guppy's tail causes, um, oh, took damage. I was doing really well. Mom's knife, not taking damage. Uh, Guppy's tail causes a lot more chests to appear. Golden chests, in fact. Um, and since we're going to do Hush, because we have to do Hush, because Hush... I don't mean Hush as in stop complaining about the fact that I'm doing Hush, I mean because it is Hush. Um, why am I looking for a super secret room where there cannot be one? Question. Please one shot. Nope, didn't shot it at all. Plus. Not doing any damage. One shot. Good. Jesus Juice is great. Krampus is dead. That's how you do a Krampus fight, everybody. And down to the next floor, we've got... Three and a half minutes to find the boss, so if we're getting a little... Uh, I might use the sun card on this floor. Seems like a good idea. Let's kill this room. It's obviously a dead end, because it's a dead end. Yeah, I probably would not have found that, although there is a self-sacrifice room here, which means we could avoid doing hush, which would stop me complaining about the fact I have to do hush, but then I wouldn't get to do hush, which is 6,000 points, so that was uh, not clever. Wasn't my uh, I idea to do that, taking damage, but... I don't know, somehow saying it wasn't clever makes it seem like I was more culpable than I actually feel like I was. I mean, I did have control over this character, don't don't let me try and pretend that I was not in control of the game at the time. I, I, I am, and I have been all this time so far, but... Oh, we should... We're killing everything so quick, Lee, that... Oh! oh dumbass. We should, like, one-shot this enemy for the judgment. Yeah. Give me something. Let's play him. Play him a while. We know where the boss is, so we don't have to worry about missing out on that. And we're probably going to one-shot it, so we don't have to worry about that. The key is actually very valuable, even though I paid more than it was worth to get it. We know where our super-secret room is, and we didn't go to the actual secret room, because we haven't got any bombs, of course. That's why. Okay, good. 
I'm glad there was logic behind what I did rather than just failure, as there often is. Careful, don't take that. We need the keys for the hush lobby. We can probably buy what? Stop it. We can probably buy one more key whilst we're there. There's a tinted rock here. Oh, I don't need it. This one we can open. There's another key and a bomb. We'll use both bombs in this room and then we'll go and fight the boss. Excellent. 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 We'll play it a bit. There could be spirit hearts in it. Or a, a card. Chariot. Chariot could be really good. Uh, the period of invincibility that it gives us could allow us to just walk into Hush in its final death throes and properly knock it out and we'll definitely take this. Which makes up for the fact that I used the sun card, basically. Um, it doesn't give all the effects of the sun card, but it gives a significant number of them. Which uh, is very worthwhile. Okay. It lives. It is not dead. I'm mildly concerned by this. First. Die. Die. Oh, that was pretty bad dodging, I have to be honest. But it only was one hit. It was a silly hit. But it was only one. Hmm. Chariot Yera. What shall we Yera? The shop. Buy this. Uh, we buy this. Because it gives us a black heart. We Yera this. Gives us another bomb. We do this. Which gives us a card. We pick it up. Which is the empty. Which gives us damage. Oh, that's good. Oh, I don't really want either of those, so I'm a bit salty I spent the key. Don't need to worry about speed anymore. We might as well take Harlequin, baby. Have a look for a Tinted Rock on the off chance. We've only got two bombs, but whatever. Tinted Rocks are still valuable, and we'll open three of these. I'm hoping to get Sacks. Yeah, we got Sacks. Which I'm hoping to pay out with at least one key. Yeah, it did. And we've got a Wheel of Fortune. And more stuff. Mad for it. Right, we've got a devil, a chariot. Do we have an empress? Yes. Now, okay. We can use a devil and a chariot, which will give us damage and allow us to walk into the boss at the end of the fight, which is going to be fun. So many of these, we should crack on them and see what we've... Uh... Yeah, spirit hearts everywhere. I might as well generate these spirit hearts, right? Because we might need them at the end. The stars, that teleports us, which isn't helpful. So we've got Devil, Chariot, I think that's good. I don't know whether the Devil is a better damage upgrade than the Empress, but honestly, I don't really care. I will use this, and then we'll keep the Empress for a later fight. Like, uh, Isaacs. Man, I really need to learn to... There we go. Keeping the knife over the enemy, so sort of backpedaling whilst it goes forwards is... basically what I'm trying to do here, but... It's a... Uh, a non... Invaluable skill. No. It's a valuable skill. I hope the fact that invaluable is not the opposite of valuable. Uh, I guess on the hush fight, it doesn't matter. Look how much damage we're doing. This is basically already won. But we just have to make sure we dodge properly. And at some point, we can go, you know what, uh, game? I am going to chariot the shit out of the hush. Let's get down there where the gap is. Good. Oh, infamy just saved me from what could have been awful, awful damage. I want to be here. There we go. So I can actually hit the enemy. Oh, we got hit. That's okay. One hit. We got all those. Oh. Three hits, really, but one damage hit, and that's the important thing. Um, Infamy has saved us twice. We've got all those spirit hearts outside. Excuse me, one of those hit me? Do you want to explain this? Let's use a chariot. Fuck this. We out. This is over. Boom! That was a great fight. And I'm super glad that I took Mom's knife because the chariot, you may not know, uh, you can't shoot while using it. You're not allowed to. But Mom's knife does contact damage. It's a melee item. All it means is with Mom's knife is that you can't change the way it's pointing. So we'll use our spacebar item, which gives us another Empress card. So a Stars card and an Empress card. We might as well do the whole floor so the Stars card doesn't really help us at all. Neither does that bullshit trinket, but... Especially since it involves when you break poop, I think. It's a poop-related trinket. And uh, we're in clean zone now. How did I get hit? I thought I would have completely one-shot Chubb, but I guess it was charging at me so fast, it sort of tanked the damage from my knife and dealt with it. Which, you know, kudos to Chubb. The Stars card probably isn't going to help us in any way. 
We can't get an error room. There is a self-sacrifice room. Amazing. And we have uh, basically an HP generator. So as long as we can not get hit too much. I was going to say not get hit. And then I realised who's playing, which is me. I probably should have known who was playing earlier on. You know, before I started speaking, for example. Uh, <laughs> I was hoping to get... Look. Let's just not talk about why I took that damage. Because uh, I'm hoping it should be self-evident. I'm a dumbass. Um, if we can not take too much damage, then our crystal ball should be able to compensate for the majority of what we do take, combined with the stuff that we're going to take because we're going to go and stand on the spikes a lot. Ooh, there's a lot of things here as well. So what have we got here? Two of spades we use. I'm going to explode these because inevitably I will walk into them with the knife. Hierophant. Please be a Yera. It is a fucking Yera. Amazing. Right. So there's a Yera, two Spirit Hearts, We've got a Death card, and an Empress card. And what was this one? Another Empress card. So we'll take Death and Empress. Death can just end a room that we don't like. Or at least significantly hamper a room that we don't like. And not uh, not food hamper. That would be a good thing to give to the room that we don't like. No, I mean, hinder. Um... If we use the crystal ball in that secret room, which is a bit min maxi, but I want to be able to do this, then at the end of it all, we can go and yera that room, and therefore all who sail in her. Which in this case is another card, which is the moon card, which will take us to the room we're in. Unideally, never mind. We'll pick up this. We'll do it again. We'll min max the shit out of this. Spirit heart. No, it is. Another Yera rune, so we can Yera it twice. That's nice to know. We can't Yera the Yera rune. We'll keep uh, Empress Death. Empress Death. That's going to be my next D&D &D character. It's an amazing name. Write that down. Somebody remember that. Man. I love the fact that the knife goes past rocks. Empress Death's like the next Darth Vader. Another Hierophant. Guess what we're doing with this. This is amazing. This is actually... I'm hoping this is, if not the seam, I'm hoping this is a way that everybody else did this. Because otherwise, this min-maxiness is... Well, I tend to get min-maxi when it comes to the... Uh... Oh, God. <laughs> Help. Should have death that room. Why didn't I think of that? I get a bit min-maxi when it does come to the uh, dailies, because, you know... Dailies, man. We've got to get them points. It's all in the points. And I've got a lot of points to make up for, I think. No, black heart. Yeah. Uh, probably got a lot of points to make up for because the people who are really in the top 100, um, they're going to be the super pro players who don't get hit like idiots, like I do. It's worth opening all of these because we've got Sack Boy. Sack Head. Damn it, Northern Lion. Sack Head. Dick. Um, which means they're quite likely to pay out with at least one key because said sacks. Wow. All these points are available to me right now. Empress World. We already know what the world looks like, so I guess we'll use this and get it out of the way. Empress doesn't really help. Empress will help against Isaac. <laughs> Breathe. Breathe. Breathe with me. Bow, 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 bow. Yep. Still in the 90s. As many people who were out last night know, I have no problem with wearing uh, my jumper tied around my waist. I, if I, I think it's cool. I think everybody should do it. True story. We'll use this in here. We get a card. The card is to a space, which we'll use. We'll take another Empress card with us. Why not? Wow. This is going to be a long floor. But bear with, bear with. You know what? We might as well do some of this now. Another fucking stars card. I ain't got nobody got time for that. Okay. Spirit hut. Spirit hut. Like, I'm wondering, we should take some red heart damage because there are some red hearts on the ground. So we can get those back as well. So it's, it's kind of more valuable in that respect. The world card we'll get rid of. Two of diamonds we just use. Empress, Empress. Another key. Doesn't hurt. There's a red heart right here. I want to get rid of as much clutter as I can off the floor. Ooh. That's very valuable. There's a bunch of troll bombs. Um, 
There we go. There's one angel statue already dead. Guess we kind of don't need that. Then what I'm going to do is pick up the red hearts, which I don't think amounts to much in terms of actual HP. Right, it's just one and a half, but we still have all these battery charges. Which we will continue to use in here. I used one or two in the angel rooms because it was so far away. Wheel of Fortune. Might as well explode it. Empress. Another red, red heart doesn't hurt. Ha ha ha. Ho ho ho. Hum ha hum. We haven't even fought Isaac yet. But that's okay. We don't have to do anything important with this room until the second angel statue has turned up. Basically. There's another spirit heart. Ideal. Like, there's no way we're going to die. We could possibly teleport and still have all our spirit hearts. So we'll take these two. And don't really need the stars card. Empress, Empress. Got two Empress cards. There's a shitload of spirit hearts, which is the, one of the rewards from pressing it that many times, is seven spirit hearts. It's kind of what we were hoping for, but honestly, we've already min-maxed to the extent that we kind of don't need those. Just use this here. Moon... That can just teleport us back to the secret room, which is exactly what we wanted to do, so we'll do that. Uh, okay, so we've got a massive supply of HP in the secret room ready for us. And two Yera runes, so it's outrageously large amount. There's even fucking more. The only thing that's likely is that we go down to the next floor. We, we won't have full spirit hearts because the last hit that you know takes us to the, the dark room... <laughs> will also cost a spirit heart. But we don't have many of those there are, and it can be up to clown. Taking a lot of damage on. That's twice taking a lot of damage on those rooms, actually. Um, the It can take up to five goes, according to like Northern Line's previous attempts to do so. Normally you expect the, uh, the shot... The, the go on the self-sacrifice room after the last angel statue, you expect to take you to the dark room. Which is ideal. If that's like, you know, best situation is that what happens, but worst case, it basically strips us of all our spirit hearts and then tell us, oh, fuck it, we've got so much HP on this. Yeah. These consumables were basically worth the damage, I think. It's a shame we can't fly, and with all these players on the, the, the circle thingy, circle thingy, um, <laughs> <laughs> the crystal ball. Shut up. Oh, I was doing this, wasn't I? The uh, the Yera. Yera. We really didn't need to do that. But you never know how many it's going to take. I was kind of expecting to have gotten at least one... Um, what was I talking about? Brain. Never mind. Brain's gone. Take that. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Come on now. Seven. Eight. You fucking kidding me? Pick that up by accident. Jesus Christ. This works, right? I'm not just wasting it damage for no reason. There's definitely a self-sacrifice room here. I can see it. Moon. Moon. Who needs the moon card, right? Who needs the stars card? I need the moon card. Moon, Yara. Yeah. Hmm. This is not going to plan, everybody. It's not letting us teleport. There we go. I was talking about the hanged man. I was surprised that all those cards that showed up, none of them was the hanged man, so that we couldn't get that. Um... Do you know what? There's no point yara in these. Great. Okay, good. I like Spirit of the Night, but I don't think it's worth necessarily taking... Oh, fuck it. <laughs> it's not worth it, no, but hello. I am still playing the game, so I'm still going to make bad decisions. We've got a battery charge, which shows us everything. And a temperance card, which we explode. Got a wheel. Should have used it next to the Wheel of Fortune. And the Empress and Sun, which doesn't help. We've got an Eternal Heart, which doesn't help. We've got a Yara, we've got a Super Bandage. We've got a Yara Rune and a Moon card. The Moon card will take us into here for free. More of this. Thank you, Doki. I don't think we can get another Magic Mushroom, but we can still see what's on offer. Cards. Right, because all our pills have turned into cards. Oh, hello, uh, Reed there. Didn't see so you come in. Thank you for joining us. The uh, steam cell doesn't help. Empress, Yara. Uh, nope. I want to keep the Yara rune. I want to replace the Empress with something better. Temperance, we explode. 
Don't really need that. We use this. We get the lovers. Don't really care about that. Might as well keep the Empress uh, strength card. Empress card. Um, when you pick up the starter deck, which we did a long time ago, which allows you to carry two Yera. cards, you don't get pills anymore. That's a bullshit fucking selection. I thought, oh, a chest that's guaranteed to give me an item. I will make the second chest that's guaranteed to give, me an, to, to give me an item. And as a result, I'll be guaranteed to get two items. Which was true. What was not true was a conjecture that that would be remotely worth doing. Where's that other one? Did it get stomped next there? Kind of hoping to hack that it had been stomped by Monstro 2, but no such luck. Nothing in here. Three of these Ragmans. The number of ruined runs by Ragmans. I can't imagine that the people who I was looking at in the top 100 didn't find this. Like this... Maybe they gave up. They thought that nine plays was too much to get to the dark room. Uh, wrong. Just saying. But, you know, I can imagine... I can see where you'd be coming from in that respect. Like, they probably went, this ain't working. I'm out. Uh, but no, that's not what you do. Might as well take one of these. Strength. Strength Empress. Yeah. What difference does it make, I think? Sun. Sun can heal us. Empress Empress. <laughs> I mean, Strength and Empress both are damaged. But boost. Bo 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 I was trying to say bonus. I was trying to say boost. I was trying to say benefit. Oh, we got Fun Guy. Because we took three. Oh, there's a Hangman card. Thanks. Uh, we took three of the Mushroom items. Oh, I'm taking damage. Stop taking damage. I don't like Terrasoma here because of the spiders. Spiders, I find, are probably one of the hardest things to hit with Mom's Uh No joke. They are so fucking small and they keep moving. We'll use this. we got our Spirit Heart back. We'll use this. You're better off using these battery charges when you've just used the thing that they charge up. Uh, strength card, sure. I mean, Mom's Knife is so strong right now that even my complete incompetence with it is not causing us too many problems. Except, you know, when it comes to those spiders, which I freely admit to having a problem with. Aquarius, I kind of like having creep of my own. It's not really a, you know, it's not an A-tier item, but it's still pretty nice. You're going very fast, so I'll end you. Even these flies are easier to hit than the spiders, because they're so predictable. Flies will just always head towards you. Spiders, no fucking luck. We are so so strong. Well, this is a win. There is no way we fail at the lamb. I'm reasonably sure it's impossible at this stage. Nothing else because there's, you know, oh, bombs. Yay. Ooh. We got flush. Guess we kind of like flush. It turns small enemies into poop. There ain't no small enemies, but it still turns them into poop. Don't know why I picked it up, actually. That's 30 points down the drain. We're right there. Down the drain! Flush! Get it! Uh, this is just a straight up tears upgrade. Which I think just means that we... Strength Empress. Strength Empress. Um, I'm pretty sure it simply means that we get the maximum range out of Mom's Knife after holding down the button for a shorter period of time. The anti-grav is a cool effect, but we don't have it. We could replace our trinket, because I don't think the cancer of trinket is really valuable with Mom's Knife. But I haven't found one that's even made me think about replacing the cancer trinket. Uh, well, Kidney Stone is new to me. Kidney Stone, uh, I've seen in action, but I've never used it, and I don't know if it will do anything with Mom's Knife, because it's really one of those, this works when you have tears type items. Uh, that rune took no time. And we are about to be O-U-W-T out. We have done every single floor. We're on 34,000 points, so yeah, everyone else must have done this because we're currently on 34,000. Why did that have so much knockback? Good question. We use strength. We are huge. Why? <laughs> That's funny. I'm okay with it. Holy shit. You missed. All that crap and you missed. What a dumbass. What a fucking idiot. What an absolute useless fucking boss. Will you die, though? I'm trying to get uh, shorter range shots out because... Well, as you can tell, it was going straight through. Well, that was a brilliant run. 38,000, That's more like the uh, target we were going for. Top 500 is my goal. Yesterday, top 2,000, if we were lucky. 
two thousand at the time that we played it, which was only about halfway through. One three seventh is a really good score. So uh, we will compare it to globally. Yeah, and that's going to go up if you look on greed, but because that will filter out the cheaters who uh, cheated. So the top score on Greedbutt, so all these people are actually cheaters, essentially, according to Greedbutt. Uh, I think it was Fred Aitrick here was top. So I think Lux Nova might have snuck in recently, and even Waflex may be considered legit on Greed, but I don't know. But uh, well done to them. But this is the top ranking scores. So if we subtract about 40-odd positions, maybe 20? We're, we're approximately the top 100. We're certainly the top 200. Top 150. I'm, fa I'm a fan of that. I'm fat. with that. So, I'm hoping to repeat this tomorrow when I hope you will join me again.